Okay folks, welcome back to the Random Dad YouTube channel. Got an extra special treat video for you today. I am replacing the headlight bulb in my 2017 Toyota Tundra Limited. I know, you're probably thinking, Dude, why the heck would you do a video on replacing a headlight bulb in a car? It's like a five second job. If you think that, you haven't seen anybody put a, a headlight bulb in one of these, what is it, like 2014 to 2018 Tundras. Once I get into this job, if you were to walk by and see me doing it, you would think I was replacing the dang radiator because I just about have to disassemble the entire front clip of this truck in order to replace the headlight bulb. We'll get into it here in a minute. Um, before we do, take a second, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, keep the random dad rolling. Um, but essentially what I have to do is get this grill out. Then I have to take these plastic kind of fender bumper covers off, and then I can get at the bolts to take the headlight assemblies out and replace the bulbs. I've only got one bulb out, but I'm gonna replace both of them while I have the entire front of the truck disassembled because I don't wanna to have to do it again in five minutes. Shout out oh, 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 Riley. for selling me these replacement 9003 bulbs. They were way too expensive, but this is the life we live now. The only tools that I'm gonna need for this are a 10 millimeter socket and like a little flat blade screwdriver just to pop some body pins, little plastic um, fender darts. If you uh, get that reference, let me know down in the comments. Here we go. Okay, so here's what we got going on here. We have these 10 millimeters here, 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 and here that we gotta pop off. Then we gotta get these little Christmas tree darts out. And then the word on the street is I can pop this grill all the way out. There are some little clips along the bottom that I'll have to get at from the inside. So let's see what happens. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Next, I have to pop these little um, fender darts out, Christmas tree darts, whatever you want to call them. One hand in it, as usual. So. Okay, so I didn't do a great job showing you that process because it just wasn't that great, but I've got these holes along the top that hold the top of the grill, and then along the bottom, there are these little tabs here that um, hold the bottom on, and you kind of have to push them down, and then it just pops out, and you can see there are a couple more clips like little Christmas tree fender dart looking things along the bottom. And that's how the grill pops out. And so now, again, like I said, the truck looks like I'm about to replace the radiator, but uh, you can see down here, there are some spots where those darts go in and some little holes where those little nubs go in. So I don't know, it seems crazy to me that you have to take this much of the truck off. But now what I have to do is pop these two darts off of here. I've gotta get these two 10 millimeters here and then I can pop these corners off and we can finally get the dang headlights out. So again, a little Christmas tree dart action here, here. here and here sorry the light's not great up here actually the camera's doing pretty good
So now this guy just pops out, which is a little terrifying whenever you're doing this because the, you know, those darts kind of make a wicked crack when they let go. So hopefully I don't break anything. Show you what I got going on here. So I've done a couple of these before and this piece has come off the truck with this piece. But when I just popped this off, as you can see, there's like just a little lip there that grabbed onto this piece up in here. So if that's the case, this might be a change in like the 1415s to my truck. Um, and this plastic piece, there's a bolt here. And so there's no way you could get this plastic piece, uh, you know, this ABS piece off with this trim piece on because it covers that bolt. So possible, it's possible you don't even have to take these off on a 2017. Now I can get at, actually that bolt is a headlight bolt. So I can pop that off and then I can get these guys and I can lay this headlight down and actually replace the bulb, which is what we're here for. So again, it sounds horrific when you take it off, but nothing broke. Okay, so usually I like to take like a shop blanket and lay it on the metal part of the, the bumper here. So I can take this light out and kind of lay it down here and work on the bulb but my shop blankets are up at camp right now, so I took my jacket off and I'm gonna use that. Hopefully I don't die of hypothermia while it's happening. So I gotta pop a couple more bolts out here and then we're in business. Okay, after disassembling the entire front clip of the truck, we can finally get at the headlight bulb, which is right here. So this is a, just a typical headlight swap. I'm gonna pull this off, take the rubber boot out. There's a little wire that holds tension on it. It's like any other headlight bulb that you've ever done ever. So, you know, now that we've taken the whole front of the truck apart, this is the easy part. So uh, I'll swap this out and we'll put it all back together. So this piece just comes unplugged straight back. Kind of tuck that out of the way. The rubber comes off. Just pull straight back. Famous last words. Oh yeah, it just comes right off. Yeah, so rubber piece just pulls out. And then this little doohickey pushes in and goes down around its little keeper. And then your light comes out. So there's the old out with the old. I like to look at it. I can actually see. I don't know, yeah, I'm not getting a good focus, but you can see in there where the filament or element, I'm not a scientist, is broken. Here's the new one. So you probably know this. Under no circumstance can you touch this. You cannot touch the glass or you'll have a big problem on your hand. So the good thing is, I didn't really pay attention how that came out, but with the three tabs, there is no putting it in wrong. So little catch um, pieces back on there. And we'll slide this rubber back in place. And so I bought some extra bulb grease. I got upsold right on the spot. 
do it to me. I shouldn't have fallen for it, but anyway. Well, dude, you're spending 50 bucks on bulbs. Better spend a dollar on some bulb grease. So I'm gonna put just a little extra grease in here. Okay, and I'll plug this baby back in. And voila, the bulb is in. So now we just have to put this whole thing back together and do the other side. I figured before I put the whole front clip back on this truck, I might as well make sure the dang headlights worked. So take a note, I'm not sure what year your truck is, but if it's newer than a 15, I don't know when the cutoff is, you don't have to take these two 10 millimeter bolts out from the, when the front fender well to get the little um, corners off. You just have to snap them off. Okay, so the headlights are back in. One, two, three, three that you can't see bolts. This guy just snapped back on here and we've got two little fender darts that hold that in on both sides. Here, here, snap, one, two, three bolts. So now I just have to manhandle that grill back on there and we're done. Dart, bolt, 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 dart. It's all snapped in all the way around the edges. We're in business. Okay, folks, I know that wasn't like dropping the transmission out or anything, but as you can see, it is pretty silly that you have to take the entire grill out and take the headlights out in order to pop those bulbs out. I can't really figure out a reason why you would engineer your truck like that unless you were just trying to sell more service work. So Toyota, uh, I beat you. I still was able to do it myself. And uh, thanks for sticking around to the end and uh, see you next time on the Random Dad.